like July's revenue for Hoyaverse is the same as uh, June's revenue, right? So the question is, um, how much of that revenue cannibalized from the other games from Hoyaverse? Uh, or is it because it's mostly drier patches in Genshin and Star Realm, right? So the question is... Subscribe, please! Alright, hello! We have... The Sensory Tower, the gacha monthly revenue for July that dropped. And uh, I'm just kind of going to go through it. Uh, this is the global version with everything like... Um, how do you say it? Put together. So it's not separated by region. Uh, all the condensed, centralized, something like that. Anyway, want to have a look, want to give my thoughts. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look. These first and foremost, number one. Number one, Zenless Zone Zero with 96 million. Am I counting this right? I think so. Anyway, pretty good, pretty good. Good start, I would say. Good start. Um, it's above Genshin, it's above Star Rail, obviously. Um, another question is, I mean, to be fair, um, I'll give my thoughts one after another. So this is a good start. The question, is it going to stay that way? Obviously, there's always a lot of uh, hype. I'm pretty sure when it comes to the Chinese side, uh, they went like 66 million, obviously, in Chinese, uh, in China, in Chinese culture, they, when it comes to catch games, they tend to be spending way more than we are in the West, by comparison. And uh, yeah, it's a good start. Uh, we'll see how it goes forward. Um, as we get more information, I'm very curious to see if it keeps that way, um, if this takes away from other, um, you know, like, uh, MiHoYo game, HoYoVerse games. Uh, I'm gonna actually, let, let's have a look. Genshin did 67 before and 95 and it dropped massively, right? Uh, but here, if you, like, because if you get 95 million, right? Uh, plus 67, that's gonna be... Oh man, I can't count. 102, 162 million? 162 million, right? But now if you take 96, uh, plus 36, that's 102, 132, 132, 167. So essentially, if you take Genshin and Honkai together from last month, and you take Zenless Zone Zero plus what they got in Genshin and Honkai Star Rail, this is essentially the same revenue between, like, July's revenue for Hoyoverse is the same as uh, June's revenue, right? So the question is, um, how much of that revenue cannibalized from the other games from Hoyoverse? Uh, or is it because it's mostly drier patches in Genshin and Star Rail, right? So the question is, we need to have more information before we can jump to a conclusion. I'm waiting to see how this is gonna go and if this is gonna end up being a net positive for them, right? Because we are gonna end up with bigger uh, patches coming soon, uh, new characters that are hyped up. Uh, maybe not right away because in HSR, obviously, there's Yunli, there's Zhao Shu, uh, but people are most likely going to be skipping them because they want to get Fei Shao, they want to get Ling Sha, right? In Genshin, obviously, drier patches. Um, there was the first uh, phase, was the rerun of Nilu, right? Now we got Emily, but I think a lot of people are going to be skipping her when she's comes out in like five days because people are saving for Natlan. So this is kind of uh, the the end of the X point, so of five point no four point X patches right coming into Natland with 5.0 soon. Um, so it kind of makes sense that like the revenue is going down. So that's my thought for Genshin Impact and Star Rail, obviously. Uh, for Star Rail specifically, um, I mean Jade was not that enticing for a lot of people. Uh, so I can understand why revenue went down as well. Uh, I do see that. Love in Deep Space is kind of crazy, though. It's still going strong. By the way, I'm going to be streaming that very soon. I think um, I'm currently filming this. We It's like 7 a.m. on the 2nd. And later today, I'm going to be streaming Love in Deep Space because I need to try this game. Apparently, it's massive Kumer bait for women. I'm a woman. I'm down to clown. <laughs> That's my thought. 
Dragon Ball Dokken. I really have nothing to say about Doka. Dokken. Dokan? Dokan. Dokan battle. Anyway, I don't care. Uh, I really don't have much to say. Their revenue went massively up, so I assume like a big event happened. Uh, and yeah, lots of fans of Dragon Ball out there, and uh, it's nice to see it uh, get a lot of uh, monies, I guess. I, I, who cares? Wooden Waves obviously went down. Um, what has happened? That's actually kind of surprising, considering that there was like Jinshi as well as Ching Li. I mean, the hype went down a little bit, uh, I guess, after release. Um, obviously, the, the first the debut of 1.0 was fucking massive. And now it's going down, it's kind of stabilizing. We'll see how it goes forward. Um, looking at the future characters, I'm worried that this is probably going to keep staying at this level or even lower because I don't think they're that hyped up. I'm kind of waiting for 1.3 when we get potentially like Camellia or Scar or other characters like that. I think that might bring the hype back up. That said, even if it's slow, even if it's slower than me, Hoyo, the Hoyoverse games, I don't think it's a problem because this is a success already for Kuro games, right? Because Kuro games made PGR. PGR is... It, the revenue for PGR is not that high in general. Uh, and this is a good return on investment, in my opinion, from what I can say, from what I can see, at least. From what I know, uh, the first month of revenue was already enough to break even, if not get uh, some net positive compared to the cost of development. So here they're actually getting some money, hopefully that allows them to uh, put more effort into the game, put more uh, content and make sure that they maintain um, their player base essentially. So yeah, looking forward to that. Fate Grand Order, still here, still loved by many. One of the... I, okay, I like Fate. But the gameplay in FGO is so annoying. I, 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 I just... It's too long. I like visual novels. But the gameplay is annoying me. Um, honestly, if it was just a visual novel, I would be more likely to play it. But the PD system is so goddamn shit. Uh, it's like 300 PD, uh, which is ridiculous. And uh, that doesn't carry over between banner, by the way. <laughs> Which is insane! <laughs> and on top of that, um, there's no auto system. And the, the gameplay itself is not that fun. And with no auto system, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not having that. So yeah. Naruto, don't care. Monster Strike, don't care. Dragon Ball Legends, don't care. Nikkei, Nikkei going, uh, it's doing okay. Uh, revenue went up. We've had um, summer events going on right now, right? So. Uh, seems to have worked well for them. They get like uh, 5 million by comparison, uh, 5 more million by comparison uh, compared to before. That's pretty cool. Idol Master, Blue Archive uh, going up as well. Uh, Blue Archive uh, is kind of in the process of like, I mean, toward the, the past few weeks, maybe a week uh, ago, two weeks ago. Um, I mean, the anniversary has been happening, so there's been like some new characters, some new events going on. Uh, with some highly anticipated characters. Right now, it is in... I mean, since the past week, I think it's been in the anniversary. Uh, so I'm assuming a lot of people have been putting money into their, in there. But I think um, the anniversary event is still going on. So I think we're going to see more revenue coming in for the rest of the month, right? Um, so this might transition more into uh, the revenue, the total revenue for... Um, August instead. Uma Musume is still doing good, still waiting for the global release. I'll probably be got, gonna be giving it a try. Solo leveling Arise has dropped by 9 million since release. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how that goes. Um, I think they just announced their summer events with a lot of uh, bikinis and stuff like that. So we'll see if that goes back up after this. Peasant Dragon, don't care, don't care. Art Knight, going down. Uh, I think Art Knight had like kind of a big event for like the half anniversary. Or is that going on right now? I think it might be going on right now for the half anniversary. So this might go up. Um, maybe July was kind of a dry patch, not too sure about this. Uh, Hatsune Miku, I don't know about this. Snow Break, going full, full, full Coomers. Um, I can do doubling their profit margin, right? And uh, I think this comes from like the big patch happened when you can marry s some of your like some of the biggest like protagonist character, the female ones, obviously, 
Uh, I think you could marry either a life or a fanny. Uh, new wedding dress skins and stuff like that. Uh, they're fully embracing this um, to the point that voice actresses that were hired for the game uh, are quitting because they're not comfortable with the direction that the game went for, obviously. Uh, because the game didn't used to have that much fan service. It used to be pretty chill. Um, but obviously it was failing, right? And they decide to say, frick it, we gotta make some profit somehow. So it kind of feels like they're just like, kind of quote unquote, giving up and trying to go all in on the fan service, try to get as much money as I can. Um, personally, I think that probably means that they, they might want to try and work on the new games on the side and try to just rack up as much as they can before, you know, it implodes. That's just pure speculation. Uh, but yeah, I don't think the game is going to have that much success past the Coomer uh, base, fan base, I guess. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Summon the Wars, uh, blah, blah, blah. Ah, Heaven's Burn Red. Uh, yeah, still doing pretty good. Uh, exact 5 million, 5 million. Uh, it went up to spot, but that's only because others went down, right? Uh, but apparently, a fun game, they announced that it's going to be coming uh, globally, so I'm really looking forward to that. It's nice to see that finally those uh, Japanese companies doing gacha games are realizing that there is a wide market for those games uh, in, in the West and that, that we want to play them. So Uma Musume is coming West, uh, Heaven Burns Red is coming West, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, One Piece, AFK Journey, AFK Journey going down, I mean, the game has been very dry, I still play it, uh, more or less daily, but yeah, there's not, not really much going on there, not a lot of, like, super hype unit coming out, so obviously it goes down, I mean, it's still a respectable amount of revenue, right, but, um, yeah, I think people are starting to be a bit, uh, annoyed by the lack of content, and the lack of, um, Things to just even get us hyped about. Fire Emblem Hero is still doing good. Tears of Themis went up. I don't know why something must have happened. Uh, Azul Lane went down. Uh, but, 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 um, but nothing. It's actually kind of surprising considering like the, the big event that's been going on. But um, we are going to be getting the, I think the sixth anniversary live stream is actually like in a week. Um, or next week at least. So there's gonna be some things going on there, right? So I think we might see a surge in revenue when the 6th anniversary celebration comes in. Reverse 1999, I haven't played this game in a very long time, but it seems to be doing okay. Revenue has gone down, but I mean, I think it's more in line with generally where they are. NFK Arena, still doing pretty decent. Uh, Memento Mori. I still haven't tried this game and I really want to. Cookie, King, Cookie Run Kingdom still doing okay. PGR revenue went up. Um, makes sense. I think the there was like the anniversary celebration with like new skins for some of the favorite characters. Um, some cool units being there. So makes sense that it went up. I didn't even know there was a blue lock game. That's crazy. Okay. Pass to Nowhere doing okay. Final Fantasy doing alright. Honkai Pact. Revenue went a bit down. I mean, the Song Shui banner just came out recently. Uh, and it's still live, so we'll see if that uh, gets their money up. But let's be real. Hoyaverse, uh, I don't think they care much about the revenue that this brings. Uh, any amount of revenue is, is still good. A lot of people kind of didn't like Part 2. Personally, I like it. I, I don't really mind. I'm attached to some of the characters, and I'm, uh, I'm happy. It's kind of a little uh, passion project in the back. Uh, still doing okay despite um, how long it's been out and uh, um, uh, how much of like their newly acquired public like uh, you know community uh, don't care about it so yeah it's kind of cool. Uh, Person of Fire, the Phantom X, not doing too too well. Uh, here it says uh, global, but I, I think it's only in like some uh, it's like in in China and some SEA country I believe. Um, they did seem to have announced that they're going to be a global release, but uh, yeah, so far, not so good. Um, Brown Dust 2 went massively down, but I don't think that this is because something is going wrong right now. It's because revenue was way higher due to the summer events. There was a big summer event, a lot, a lot, a lot of fan service with the new uh, bikini outfit, bikini costumes. 
Um, it's not skins. In this game, costume give you skills. It's like altars of the character that you can equip on top of the other, so it unlocks you new skill. Um, so it's like new version that stacks on top of the previous versions. Um, and obviously a lot of people wanted to get those. I think it's a fun game. Actually, the story is pretty good. I do recommend it. Uh, but yeah, a lot of fan service. If you don't like fan service, don't get into it. Personally, I can ignore it, but uh, some people can't do that, so yeah. And then, past that, not a lot of things that really interest me, to be honest. Uh, Atelier Vizlania, blah blah, this light, Issa Gazer. Uh, Issa Gazer, Zuzunder, a million. The problem with Issa Gazer, it doesn't have a PC client, it's really annoying. I'm at this point where, like, I don't really want to play games with a lot of a, a PC client, unless it's, like, a very good reason for me to play it, or it's, like, a chill game. Like, Azul Lane and Blue Archives, I think, are games that you can kind of play on the go on your phone when I'm falling asleep in my bed, that's what I do, and it doesn't bother me. But it's got, like, action combat gacha games, if you don't have a PC client, it just... It feels like a waste, essentially. And, I mean, they say that they are working on it, uh, but it's still not out. I think there was a beta for it in China, but uh, yeah, no news regarding the global release for that. And uh, yeah, we'll see. That's pretty much all I care about. Oh, that's not true actually. Ghost Frontline 2 Exilium, not doing too well, not doing too well. Um, I mean, there's been so many controversies about uh, GF2, unfortunately. And um, I think there's a lot of people that want to play this game uh, in the West, but uh, it's still not released globally. They didn't announce that it's gonna happen. Um, so I'm kind of waiting for that, and, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see, but so far, the success is not really there, I guess. Uh, I mean, a lot of, uh, the Chinese community got really pissed about the NTR stuff, um, regardless of how an inch that is, it did have an impact. So, uh, yeah, there it is, Limbus Company is still doing same numbers. Um, and yeah, the OG GF, uh, Ghost Frontline is here. And then it's, uh, yeah, nothing really interesting here. Um, nothing that you really care about here. Uh, it is what it is. So, yeah, not much to say, really. Um, overall, interesting stuff. I'm keeping my eyes on ZZZ in the future. And, uh, yeah, that, that's what has me the most interested right now. Looking forward to... To what's gonna happen in that space and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you surprise let me know what you expect for the next month and uh, I'll see you on the next one like subscribe and all the good good